Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to East Vineland, New Jersey. We're back here on Kubota Farm. It's Friday. Yay, right? Looking at our chickens, they are holding their own, but I started looking at our animals, and of course the sheep are always happy. The pigs, not so much. And our chickens, not so much. And I think the problem is their food. The chickens don't have any base food. They don't have any sunflowers. Base food, we figured out, of course, is cracked corn. Sunflowers took me a while, but I figured that one out. That's sunflowers. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. And base food for the pigs um, is corn. And they don't have any corn. And their health isn't doing so well either. So I had a delivery made. We've got some sunflowers. And we've got cracked corn that we are going to feed our chickens. And I brought over the old Kubota with the front loader on there. Set of forks so I can make a mess of this. And we're going to try and feed, feed our chickens up. I also had the tire guys come out. Doesn't that look nice? Put a set of dualies in the back. What are these? I forget what they are. Looks like they are something, something, what's, where's, uh, there, Continentals. That's what they are. Looking pretty sharp, though, with the little, uh, dualies there. Kind of like it. Had some rubber changed on a couple of the, uh, of the other Kubotas as well. That thing looks pretty good. I'll show you those. Had some food delivered to the pigs that we need to, <clears throat> that we need to, uh, set up for them as well. Oh, moved ahead to February, too. Snow went away. No accumulation. It all just kind of fell and left. And let's see if I can get a little... Yeah, let's see if I can get this thing. Yeah, just get... You know what? Just... Oh, am I stuck underneath? There we go. <laughs> Is it really too heavy? No. Something. What is going on here? Wow. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe I just had a really weird... I didn't think this pallet would be too heavy. If I can scooch it down. Maybe if I get a better... It is pretty heavy, evidently. All right. Well, we don't have far to go. <laughs> wow. Maybe I should have put a... I guess I should have put a rear weight. Let's see if we can get close enough to get the... Yeah. We'll get close enough to at least get it fed. There we go. All right. How does that do for the chickens, anyways? Let's see here. Well... Probably not enough. I have a lot of grain in there, and you're only supposed to have 20% grain. So it's probably going to take a while for that to balance out, is my guess. And I think that's the problem we're going to have with the pigs as well, is I've got too much of one thing and not enough of another. But hopefully they'll get balanced out at some point. Oh, come on. No way. There's no way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what in the world, man? I would be better off. Let's just... <laughs> this has gone horribly wrong. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. I can't believe that this pallet would be... Would be too heavy for this Kubota. Are you for real? Wow. 
Wow. Are you not gonna... Are, where's the... Uh, it did take some, right? Yeah, it took some. Why isn't it not... Uh, because I'm full. That's why. That's all it's gonna take. That was really unsuccessful. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with this thing. It's uh, I've never had that many problems. I mean, I'm not the greatest at, at moving pallets. But, jeez. Let's get out of here before I permanently break our Kubota. Wow. Okay, that did not go as planned. Let's see if we can uh, <laughs> see if we can cause some more trouble over here. I'm afraid to even think about what we're gonna do with the pigs. All right, so we've got a bunch of um, uh, what is this? Corn. We've got a bunch of corn. Let me see if I if I get it lined up better, maybe. I'm tempted to go grab. Yeah, this is this is silly. Wow, it really is. All right. Well, you know what? Plan B. I honestly didn't think that that would be too much for this Kubota. That seems really weird to me. Those pallets must really weigh a lot. That's crazy town, man. I'll worry about putting our front loader stuff away a little bit later. This, is this the M6? or This is a 6, I think, isn't it? What does that say? Is it 7? Man, that thing should be fine. Do I have... Do we have forks for this, though? We've got that bucket. Where's that bucket? Where did I put that stinking bucket? We gotta go find our bucket. I forget where I left it. We've got a bucket that has the forks that come off of it. This has been amazingly unsuccessful. I would be... I'm not even sure where I put that bucket now. Did I put it over here? Nope, it's not over there. I may have to do a find. Or did we put it in the shed? I bought a bucket, right? That bucket that had the forks? Don't we own that? Owned items. Telehandler. Front loader tools. Self-made bucket with forks. I thought, though... I thought we bought that for the telehandler. Maybe not. Maybe not. Bail loaders, telehandler. Very curious indeed. Yeah, at least that. Well, where is that? Well, you know what? It's not going to work, though, is it? I mean, it's for a front loader, so there's no way. There's no way it's going to work. Combinations, all front loader. And it's not going to help us with... Uh, Hmm. It's not going to help us. Let's try some. This is going to go horribly wrong as well, but I don't know how much worse it can go than our front loader did. If worse comes to worse, I guess we'll hand load these things for the pigs. <laughs> 
It's not gonna pick it up though. Let me push it over here. I think it's gonna have to be a little bit up in the air though. Yeah, it needs to be kind of up in the air. Oh. Okay. How heavy? are these pallets the pigs are like just feed us I can hear them just grunting over there man these pallets must weigh so much all right will you, will you get off of there now at this point yeah thank you Giants thank you for that thank you <laughs> they want their food <laughs> this has gone so wrong. I honestly thought this would be like the, the easiest thing in the world to do. <clears throat> but evidently... This is not going to be my day for uh, doing this kind of thing. Let's check. Uh, let's check our pigs. So we're getting some base food. The problem, I think. Oh, don't you take off on me now. The problem, I think, partially is going to be. Again, I've got way too much <clears throat> grain. I think. Our root crops, actually, in this case. I think I've got way too much root crop already. Yeah, we've got what's supposed to be 5% root crop. I've got, man, that's probably almost 40%. Yeah, I know, piggies. I know. I'm trying. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be half corn. So this probably is not going to help their health much until it gets balanced out more. And maybe I should have waited. Yeah, they're full too. We'll see how that goes. I, I don't know. I'm just amazed at how heavy... Huh, maybe this, you know, these front forks aren't light either, so maybe between the weight of these front forks and those pallets was just too much. I have seen rear weights. Look in there. I have seen rear weights for telehandlers, and maybe we're just going to have to invest in a rear weight for our telehandler. And I honestly don't know if I have any tractor weights anymore, because I think I... <clears throat> sold all of them because they all have mounted I guess what you would call what factory mounted front weights on them instead of the separate weights well that went that went really well I'd say that went about as good as it, I should expect things to go when I'm doing them here with the <laughs> when using forks and pallets. Let's go check real quick on our sheep and see. Hey, Sean, what's up, buddy? Let's go see what uh, our wool's like here. Sometimes things just go, I can be dealing with pallets, and it's just like, man, this is fantastic. And other times, yeah, forget about it. You know, it's just, it's just I don't know if it's the weather, how much I've had to drink. <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't know. Uh, let's just put you up here for now. We're probably not going to fill up too much more of this by the time we take it to market, to be honest with you. The sheep have done well for us, but they're the easiest ones to take care of. Just grass. Feed us grass, and that's all they want. Speaking of grass... 
This is looking good. Much better. Three of three, so we're on the forage stage. So next month will be our first. Uh, we'll be able to do our first spring cut of. Actually, that's not our field. Ha! <laughs> nice job, Brad. <clears throat> I thought it seemed a little early, but yeah, it is growing. It's two of three. Okay, so we've got two months before we can do our first cut on this field. Kind of wish we did have this field. Man, that's a, that's a lot of grass right there. It's a lot of grass. How's the county looking still? Grass County? I'm assuming it is. Oh, yeah. Nothing new there. Holy cow. And I don't think we have any contracts waiting for us. And I don't think we're going to see any contracts until uh, at least another month or two, I would guess. Well, I don't think there's a whole lot more to do. I think our animals obviously have food. It's just now getting them to balance out the to balance out the food with the right proportions, um, which is kind of a shame because I don't think we're going to see any egg production either until this gets balanced out. It would be nice to be able to, <coughs> excuse me, in game uh, remove some of this that you don't want and i i'm pretty sure i can go into the game save xml and change that but that seems a little bit cheaty so i'm just gonna let it sit and balance itself out and hopefully their health will um will pick up sooner than later and production should follow otherwise we're not going to have any eggs from all of our chickens which kind of stinks at least we've got wool coming in pigs I don't know if their health isn't doing too well. I'm guessing their reproduction slows way down as well. Because that's really all pigs are good for, right? Is making poop and uh, selling them. So, just looking at uh, what we have here. But yeah, I think I've let that go too long. Oh well, hopefully we'll get that caught up sooner than later. Let's head back to uh, let's head back to the house. We're in February. Let's go ahead and scooch to the next month, to March, and let's take a look around and see what we got going on. I'm thinking uh, April. I think was our wool sales, if I remember correctly. That's kind of the next big thing for us is getting rid of all the wool that we have. up girls oh looky there maybe maybe that uh crack corn inspired them yes much better thank you oh and our pig's health has increased very well for us too very good very very good happy with that and no i'm not even going to bother until we get some Until we get some rear weights for our stuff here. So grain is still predominant, which needs to come down a bit. But sunflowers, 20% of sunflowers. I wish giants would change this so that um, you knew uh, proportionately the amount. Because until you fill this up all the way, you don't know what the amount is here like the total would be. So how do you know what totals to make these if you don't know what the total feed is? And that total feed, <coughs> excuse me, they, they would be able to adjust that as you buy more chickens or as you, um, as your chickens reproduce or whatever. Um, that does not seem like something too far fetched to me. Um, so we know 25,000, of course, that'll change if we, you know, buy chickens, but then you figure, Half, way I do my math is half of 25 is 12 and a half thousand plus another 10%. So another 2,500, 12 and a half, 13. So what, 15,000 roughly, I would say 15,000 would be crack corn. So we're quite a ways away from that. Uh, 5,000 for grain and another uh, 5,000 for sunflowers. So... All right, we'll have to deal with that, but it's good to see their health up, and it's good to see 
our pigs' health is increasing. That way, reprodu <laughs> that way they can reproduce and make little piglets, and we can start selling some of these older guys, like this guy here. Um, I'll, I forget what how old. I think we're getting close to uh, sending that age, though, to market that 23 month, isn't it? 24 months, two years they go to market, I think. I think so. I think so. Not entirely sure, but I think so. Now let's take a peek around here and see what we got going on. So our grass should be growing back here. Three of three, good. Okay, so next month we're going to have a good cut. This grass should all be growing back shortly as well. All this stuff we used with our mowet to feed our sheep. Let's take a look at pricing for our wool. See where that's at. Oh, and also... All right. So we have some flour stored there. We can sell that straight away as well if we want to make a little extra cash. Uh, barley, oat, sorghum, cornmeal. Actually, wheat, barley, oat and sorghum, and of course, corn. Okay, all right. No contracts, that's fine, that's fine too. And let's take a look at uh, wool prices. Oh yeah, they're coming up nicely. 33.80, yeah, we're not too far off from, uh, from the average high, so April. I think we're gonna go ahead and probably skip another month Looking good there. Let's take one quick peek at the calendar. So we're in March, so April, uh, May. When do we want to harvest our canola? That is in June. Okay. All right. I just don't want to jump because uh, I've done this before where I've jumped ahead too quickly and not looked at everything and regretted jumping ahead like that because all of a sudden I'm like a month past and you can't go back. So once you do it, you do it. Let's um let's do it. Exciting episode here. I know I'm gonna have you all on the edge of your seats. You're all like, man, what's gonna happen next? What other exciting things could possibly happen on Kubota Farm? <laughs> It started off strong, and it's certainly not going to finish with a bang. I, I hardly doubt. Chick, oh, you go, girls. Keep those eggs coming. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. I'm not feeding you for fun. You better keep those eggs coming. Getting <laughs> up on the dinner table. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Chicken, chickens. Chickens. Reproduction. Wait a minute. Are they, they? I think they are reproducing. Wow. Looks like our roosters have been busy. Right? Zero months. So I, I think we only bought the uh, the older chicks. So uh, sunflowers. We can put a little bit of this in here, but it's not going to take much. Yeah, it's not going to take a whole lot. <clears throat> and then let's head back over to... Yeah, this is this is not the realistic the mo um, the realistic channel right now, that's for sure. This is the get it done because I couldn't get my front loader to do anything for me channel. Um, pig's health is good. They're doing pretty good. Nice. All right, how many pigs do we have? 160. Interesting. All right. Well, at the very least, before we wrap this up, man, time has been flying. Before we wrap this up, let's at least get um Open up for me. Hello. Thank you. Let's at least get... Oh, there's my bucket. Hello, Mr. Bucket. I totally forgot we had this thing. This thing actually might have done okay with those pallets. Now I want to try it. 
I'm gonna leave that out. We'll have to try it. We'll have to try this thing with the pallets. It's gotta have more weight on the butt here, right? And isn't this the... Yeah! Waka. Love that. Let's get you out of the way. I am gonna try that with the pallet, so hopefully it'll do a little bit better than our front loaders did. That's for sure. Uh, we can actually use our truck. <coughs> we can use our pickup truck for uh, for this task. I was going to grab a tractor, but let's just use the old Kubota. The old Kubota pickup. Yeah, very nice. Woohoo! All right. And there is no way... Stop there for a second, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this nice plush. Oh, yeah. We're going to get a good yield out of this, I think. It's a nice plush lawn we get to cut. Very, very nice. Looking forward to that for sure. So I am not going to be fancy about this. I am not going to try to be tricky about this. This is going to be um, simply done. I'm in it for the money. <laughs> I'm not in it for <laughs> for anything else. Our current offerings, where are we at? 36.05 at the farmer's market. <clears throat> um, yeah, okay. All right. Um, start loading. Left shift R. I am going to have to... I am going to have to... Yeah, we are... We are... Yeah. We are definitely not going to do this the difficult way. We're going to do this the down and dirty, quick and easy, probably getting you dizzy watching this way because it's kind of making me dizzy. I was going to say, I know you're not full. We should at least get a double stack out of this, right? Loading area is full. No. You won't double stack for me? Really? Well, that's stinko. Okay. Well, all right. I guess what we can do is... No, what do you, why do you keep letting go? Will you sit... Oh, it doesn't like that. I wonder if it's because it's auto-load. Let me see here if I can turn off... Let's see, start loading. No, she's not happy. Okay. We might not be able to double stack. It doesn't look like it kind of wants to stay up there. And I'm thinking it's because of the auto load that's keeping it from just playing nice. Uh, how long do you think that'll last for us? Probably not worth it, but... Wow, this thing is just chucking go a little slower here it lets go as soon as I get close to the trailer and I think it's because of the the auto stack that's on this thing I think that's not me letting go that's <laughs> that's the pallet it's just letting go <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> the sheep are like, are you kidding me?
All right, where are we going? Let's just get this sold so that we can at least say that uh, something has been accomplished. Why are you going down in price? You're not supposed to be going down in price. Um, where are you, Mr. Farmer's Market? I see you over there. Let's go see if we can... Uh, let's go see what we can get out of this. How many do we have? Two, four... Six, eight, ten, twelve, almost fourteen. That one's got a, a bundle missing, but we'll basically say fourteen. Yeah, I'm running through the poplar. Running through the poplar. Let's see if we can get this baby soul without any major catastrophes <clears throat> happening. I would love to just get... just. You know, just have one smooth thing this episode. This farmer's market's a ways away, isn't it? It's like across the county. Take a jump here. Oh, I think we might have caught a little air. Alright, folks. Hit the brakes, man. Coming in hot. Well, I guess, uh, yeah. Let's see what we can make on this thing. Let's see if uh, the sheep were wor worth all the effort. Oh, that's pretty good cash. <coughs> nice. Almost two... Well, over 200... Th what? Wow. Wow. Okay, that was definitely more. Wow. That was quite a bit more than I thought we were going to get out of that load. Ooh, that almost makes this... <laughs> definitely, man... We should just buy another sheep barn and put one down and call it a day. All we have to do is just have really quick episodes of dropping grass off to feed the sheep, uh, checking on the wool, and, you know, t five, ten-minute episodes. <laughs> Wouldn't be the most exciting farming simulator uh, channel in the world, but make some serious coin. I, I guess it's been a while since I um, have sold a lot of wool. And let's hit this jump. Oh man, just a just a little bit more of a of a uh, incline there, and I think we could definitely catch air. But yeah, sheep are lucrative. Holy cow! I guess uh, I'll keep them. We won't eat them after all. I think we were supposed to turn there. All right, we can turn up here. Now it'll be interesting to see what kind of cash we get from Poplar. I don't think that it's the most. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I don't think it's the. Um, I don't think it's as going to be as lucrative as our sheep, but it is ten of thirteen. Okay, it is. Um, I think you get three years from poplar so we don't have to replant either which is kind of nice so i think by the time we get three good harvests from this poplar it's probably probably going to be worth it i'll just be curious to see how much we get out of that bundle there canola of course is just canola you know plain old canola well girls i gotta tell you you've made me proud thank you very much the farm owes you. You've done well. And that was 14, roughly 14 bundles. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, we've got at least another couple hundred thousand plus. Excellent. 
All right. Well, I am going to take care of getting us loaded up for the next episode. I'll um I'll wait to sell it there so you can see our try to get it loaded up as best I can. But um, hopefully we got another what 200 250,000 coming in from that. That'd be that would be nice. We can use the cash. We can definitely use the cash to keep expanding for sure. Maybe go ahead and buy another production while we're at it too. But well, thanks everyone. I apologize. This wasn't the most exciting episode of Kubota Farm we've ever had, but um, we did progress, and harvest season is just around the corner. So there's that. And um, hopefully, I'll see you this weekend on Silver Run. I think I'm going to try and get some gameplay done there, uh, and I'll record that. But otherwise, I will see you back here uh, on Kubota Farm. Make sure you take care of yourselves, and let's take care of each other, most importantly, and I'll see you all real soon.